Hi, uh, team. Um, over the next seven vlogs, I'm going to talk about team and uh, and how we can start to really get a focus on building uh, a really, really uh, successful, uh, forward-thinking, motivated, inspired team within your business. Uh, and, and the first element that I want to talk on before I get down into what we call the the you know the, the, the six keys to a winning team. The first element is. Um, it's about the core principle of understanding win-win. Win-win is about making sure that everybody on the team understands where they're going. What, what, you know, what's the mission of the uh, of the business? Uh, what's the focus? Where's the where's the vision? You know, what are the interim goals that they're all striving to achieve for the business? Uh, you know, it's no point in, in in having a couple of people that get across the finish line with loads of the you know the team members nowhere to be seen. It's about everybody moving forward in a, a unified uh, unified way. You know, I'm okay, you're okay. Now, the one real element that uh, that, that can impact on this is is communication. And it, you know, I, I'll often go into a business and we'll sit down. And one of the first things when I start working with a team that I do is an analysis. You may be familiar with with a SWOT analysis: strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. And it, it never ceases to surprise me that that communication is always present uh, in terms of the, the you know the communication levels are good. Uh, they could be better. Uh, we don't really know what's going on. Now, sometimes it's uh, you know it, it's the you know the the, the 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 way a team member might well be in terms of the course of least resistance to, to, to you know to be able to have an excuse that below the line excuse of all I didn't know uh, you know because nobody told me you know because they didn't go and find out the information but it is nonetheless an issue on communication so what's the ability for the business to communicate to its team what about the ability for it to communicate to its clients. And what about the ability to communicate to the marketplace? Because if you haven't got that in place at the moment, if you're not communicating at that level, uh, you, you, you know, it's going to have a dramatic effect on the team. So, uh, one of the areas that uh, we in Action Coach uh, utilise, and certainly when we come together at our conferences, and one of the things that I'll focus once I start working with the team after a period of time, is what we call the whiffle. It's a, it's a ritual. But you know, but it's the ability uh, um, to have to uh, you know encourage your team members to be able to express uh, you know issues. So whiffle is quite simply what I feel like expressing. So uh, you know, at a point that you start to build this team understanding, this team ethos, then you can start to bring in the whiffle. You can start to bring into a meeting to round up a meeting with what do I feel like expressing, uh, and it will surprise you to the extent. The, 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 you know, the level of, of, of um, you know, feedback and indeed as we've talked before, feed forward that you can get from your team members. But it improves the communication tenfold. Anyway, that's getting us started on team, on team, on the core principle of win-win. That's what we want to try to achieve. Uh, catch up next time and I'm going to start talking about the six keys to a winning, uh, winning team. Um, and the first one being strong leadership. Till then, bye-bye.